Good morning. What a wonderful day it is. This is the Lord's day. God is good. He has given you and me this day to live and glorify His name. Remember, glorifying God is the greatest duty of man. And so may the Lord give you grace and the power of the Holy Spirit to live for Him and Him alone. In this meditation of this morning, let me convey to you the benefit and the blessings of prayer. And what I have before me is many scripture verses. And may God's word itself directly speak to you and bless you. Listen, God's word is very, very powerful. Very powerful. It is the sword of the Spirit which you can use against the devil, his temptations, against sin and all kinds of difficult situations. Psalm 32, 6 says, Let everyone who is godly pray to you, O God. And Jeremiah 42, 3 says, Pray that the Lord may tell you where to go. You know, we can pray to God because He knows the way. And if we learn to listen to God and take the path that He directs you, you will never be in danger. And Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 says, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions there is no occasion where where you cannot pray or you don't have to pray pray all in all occasions and first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 says be joyful always and pray continually pray continually is it possible oh yes you can pray anytime, anywhere, no matter what you are doing. Our mothers may be in the kitchen while cooking the food. She can be in touch with God. Now, pray always does not mean that all the time you, uh, you keep murmuring something with your mouth. No. It means you live 24 hours, 7 days in the consciousness of His presence and you will never miss His presence. And that is the way you can avoid sin. So, joyfully you pray and continually you pray. James chapter 5 verse 13 says, If one of you is in trouble, he should pray. Because the Bible elsewhere says, our God is a very present help in trouble. When you are in trouble and you need to see a doctor, immediately doctor may not be available. And you may not be able to reach. And how many patients die on the way in the ambulance before they could ever see a doctor. But about our God, He says, is a very present help. The moment you are in trouble, and if you are living in the consciousness of His presence every moment, then I am sure that you can experience His nearness in your greatest trouble. And James chapter 5 verse 16 says, Pray for each other. And this is the exhortation both Jesus and his apostles always gave us. Pray for one another. Love one another. And it is our duty. We don't live for ourselves only. We live for others too. And uh, so we love one another and we pray for one another. And uh, then there are storms that happen in our lives. You know, in the Bible, there are a number of people who were in the midst of storms when they cried out to God. 
Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 9 says, We prayed to our God and posted God. You know, while Nehemiah started building the wall in Jerusalem, he was faced with terrible persecution as well as opposition. And opposition increased, increased so much because the uh, people are determined to destroy uh, Nehemiah and his work. And so what did they do? They prayed to God and posted God. No, praying does not mean that we don't have to think and do the necessary things, whatever we must do. And that's what Nehemiah did and he was successful and he gave always thanks to God. It is not because he got at the, uh, he posted the God that they got the victory because God was with them because of their prayer. And then Job chapter 42 verse 10 says, after Job prayed for his friends. Now what happened after Job prayed? You know the story. You know these three friends, they are called miserable friends. And they spoke all things which were not true about God. And so at the end of it all, God was very angry with these miserable friends of Job. So he told, and he was, they were afflicted by some terrible sickness, disease. I don't know what it was, but the Bible does not clearly say, but it was a very serious problem. And so God told them, you do one thing, you go to my servant Job, because he is the only one who spoke everything true about me. And he will pray for you and you will be healed. Remember, Moses, I mean Job, was still sick, diseased. That terrible disease that was killing him was still on his body. And to that uh, brother Job, these three friends came, requesting him to pray. And so he prayed for them. And the Bible says, as he was praying for his friends, not only really his friends were healed, after prayer, he looked at himself and he saw he was completely healed. You know, here is a lesson. When we are troubled, we think we are the only ones suffering like this. No, my friends. There are hundreds and thousands of people who may be suffering with the greater afflictions than we are. If we only pray and lift up our heads and see others in trouble, see their problems and begin to feel compassion for them and begin to pray for them. And I am telling you, if you forget your worries and cast them on Jesus and then you begin to pray for those who are suffering, those who are afflicted, those who are sick, those who have no peace, you pray for them and intercede for them. Not only they will be blessed, but you will find that your own problems are solved. You are sick. You are sick, but by the time you finish praying for others, you will be healed. And this is a great, wonderful revelation. Daniel chapter 6 verse 10. Daniel got down on his knees and prayed. That was his practice. Some jealousy-filled people, officers came and wanted to destroy Daniel because the more they tried, they could not catch him in anything that would cause the king to order Daniel's killing. They, they could not try. And except they said it is the matter of uh, his uh, religion. That is the only thing that we can do. So there was an order that anyone who prays for 30 days to any other god except the king, that person will be put in that lion's den where his, even a small bone will be, will not be left. And Daniel heard about it. And the Bible says, as usual, he went 
three times opened his window towards Jerusalem sitting in Babylon and he prayed three times and suddenly he did not de- declare a three days fasting and prayer and asked his people his friends to come and join him no a man who prays always every day need not to worry continue praying and jonah chapter 1 verse chapter 2 verse 1 from inside the fish's belly i cried unto the lord and uh, you know the story even from inside the belly the prophet jonah prayed so there is no place under heaven and that where you cannot pray you can pray any time anywhere even though you may be in the belly of a fish you can still pray in from inside the belly there you may be in the fire from that fire you can pray you may be overwhelmed by waters even at that time you can pray thank you jesus for all these privileges the gospel according to st luke chapter 22 verse 41 jesus knelt down and prayed that is in the garden of gethsemane he prayed the greatest prayer of burden his soul was unto death out of that anguish and pain he prayed and act chapter 16 verse 25 we have another uh, another uh, prayer by the apostle paul and silas who were put into prison in philippi for no reason simply because there was a revival in the city because of their preaching and they ended up in the prison but what happened in the prison <laughs> you know many times the persecuted people may be put in jail and while in jail they will have the greatest opportunity to evangelize people there and who know god will bring so many people and it in fact it happened it is also the uh, the police better be careful simply because we declare the gospel we put are put in prison in prison there are so many people who will listen to the gospel and so when any one of us happen to be there let us not despair but let us be encouraged and paul and silas what happened when they pray they did not complain to god and complain to each other no but they lifted up their voice their hands were not free their feet were not free they were all in stock and chains but their mouth was free their spirit was free and they sang praises to god and they began to worship god and then you know what happened closed doors were all flung open and the foundations of the prison was shaken and that is the power of a prayer my friends you may be in a, an inner cell by yourself a prison of discouragement a prison of a sickness long sickness a prison of loneliness you are in the prison of uh, fear you are in a prison of anxiety you are in the prison of depression we i don't know what prison you are in but in that prison you can cry unto god in prayer and the foundation of that prison will be shaken and you will be free may the lord bless you for that prayer keeps us together prayer keeps us close to god and prayer increases love our love for god love for one another and love for his church prayer releases heavenly power against all the evil and immorality and corruption of this world and heavenly power 
and whenever god's people prayed according to second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 what happened there was a deliverance i will give you certain scripture verses write it down and please read them because i time is getting over i'm not going to read exodus chapter 3 read it how prayer alone came as the an- answer to their problem second kings chapter 19 verses 14 to 19 and then again verse 35 to 37 daniel chapter 6 chapter you read the whole chapter acts chapter 12 peter in prison what happened the church was praying without ceasing then read chapter 12 of acts and see the wonder working miracle working power of a prayer how marvelously and at the end of that chapter the king who put him in prison was dead but it says but the word of god continue to increase and it is the word of god for that reason peter was put in prison my friends god is a good god and then uh, secondly there you know according to second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 if you re, uh, if you pray uh, there was not only deliverance there was manifestations of god's power read the book of esther chapter 4 verses 15 and 17 it's 15 to 17 in fact you read that entire book to see the power of a prayer the word god was never mentioned in that book and yet behind every verse you will see god's hand at work and how ultimately the entire nation of israel was saved because esther announced three days of fasting and prayer including all the children and animal they gave themselves totally to prayer there was manifestations of s- such power as a result of prayer there was revival read jonah's book chapter 3 verses 6 to 10 there was a revival in the entire city of uh, uh, nineveh is it only a history recorded in the bible does prayer work today you only have to consider the history of the church in china and korea and in many persecuted nation in the persecution the church grew beyond anyone's imagination why they could not do anything but they pray 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 my friends we can expect the same thing today if we are sincere in seeking god as these people sought god prayer brings us closer to god prayer brings us closer to one another in love and the prayer breaks the barriers and the corporate to prayer releases such a power mighty power from heaven to pull down stronghold of satan and uh, destroy the power of satan and the powers of darkness all through they can rest and not to worry you know if you pray don't worry but if you worry don't pray because prayer and worry do not go together so build up a habit of a prayer prayer without ceasing let his name be upon our lips every moment this is god's message for you today live this message and we shall see breakthrough in our nation in your nation hallelujah because god is not changed he is still looking for men and women who shall give themselves to prayer 
under all circumstances no matter how impossible a situation is there is nothing impossible with god and nothing impossible with those who believe and those who believe thus will pray and they shall receive the answer to prayer god bless you as you determine to talk to god under every situation have a wonderful day today father i thank you for blessing the people who listen to this and i pray that uh, their experience will show in the days to come yes prayer truly is the most powerful weapon that god has placed at our disposal what a privilege for us to pray thank you father god in jesus name amen this is a wonderful day have a great day and enjoy the day god bless you